starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. That's a good girl. Why me you let Lassie play the infield and you back her up? I taught her how to play, didn't I? <laughs> Looks more like she taught you. Just hit the ball, that's all. <laughs> what are you doing, swatting mosquitoes? Okay, get this one. What'd you do that for? I didn't do it. This dumb, stupid mutt did it. Dog ain't got the sense of a day old pig. Uh, Sylvester! Psst. Get out of here. Porky, come on! Sylvester! <laughs> You come here. Sounds like trouble. I'm telling you for the last time, Sylvester, you gotta teach that flop-eared hound to behave or you gotta get rid of him. And that's final. What'd he do now? Upset the checkerboard in the middle of a game. Oh, it ain't that bad. What do you mean it ain't that bad? I was just getting set to triple jump you. What happened? Ever since you got that hound, he's been nothing but trouble. If he ain't rooting up the truck garden, he's chasing the chickens or barking at the cow. And half the time, he's underfoot. Oh, stop bellowing. We got two more games to play. This is the last warning, Sylvester. Either you teach that hound something or I'm giving him away. Come on. Jim, what am I gonna do? Don't worry, Porky. Let's see me will help you train Pokey, won't we, girl? Now, this is gonna be just like school. So you watch and listen. First, Lassie will do a trick, then Pokey will try and copy it. Pokey, pay attention. Let's try an easy one. Lassie, shake hands. See, Pokey? See Lassie shake hands? Now try it with him. Okay, Pokey, shake hands. I didn't say kiss, I said shake. I think maybe he gets his words mixed up. Well, I don't see how I can get mixed up between kiss and shake. They're not even spelled anywhere as near alike. Say, so let's try something else. I don't think my pop wants to shake hands with him anyway. All right. How about rolling over? Okay. Now, will you please watch? Now, do it real slow so Pokey can see. Lie down. Now, roll over. Now, do you see that? You think you can do it? It's not hard. Honest. Now, remember what Lassie did. Now, lie down. We're gonna roll over. Boy, is he dumb. Do you really think he's dumb, Jeff? Or just different? Well, maybe. Maybe he's a retriever. Let's see if he'll fetch. Yeah, some dogs can't do tricks, but they can do other things. All right, Pokey. Now I'm gonna throw this stick, and Lassie's gonna go get it and fetch it back. Stick. S-T-I-C-K. Stick. Now, watch. All right, girl. Fetch it. Did you see that? That's all you have to do. But all you gotta remember is stick. S-T-I-C-K stick. Come on. Come on, Pokey. Go fetch the stick. 
stick. Shh. Looks like he's thinking. Go fetch it. Hello, boy. Fetch it, Pokey. He's going after it. Yippee! Fetch it here, boy. Where's he going? Here, Pokey. Here. <laughs> Well, thank you. Smart dog. Learning fast. I love him. I guess he is dumb. He'll never learn anything right. He'll learn, Porky. It'll take time. We've got to keep working on him and working on him. Jolly. He's got to learn something. Here. You sure this is what he likes? Yeah, he loves it. Okay, we'll try it. <laughs> you got the stick? Yeah. You hold it over the sink and I'll pour. Jeff, Parky. What are you boys doing? Well, this is part of Pokey's training. What are you training him to do? Mess up my sink? No. We'll teach him to go fetch his stick and bring it back. Well, his sticks just don't interest him. So we thought maybe we'd try some corn syrup on it. He loves corn syrup. All right. Oh, come on. Take it outside. Okay, we're through anyway. Come on, Porky. Come on, Porky. Let me at it. They had an idea if they soaked a stick in corn syrup that it might be a little more enticing to Pokey. Well, who pulled this down? Oh, Porky. He spilled corn syrup all over his arm and he had to wash it off. Yeah. It isn't broken, is it? No, it got loose in the socket. Sprung a little, I guess. What started all this frantic excitement to train Pokey? Oh, that fool dog knocked over the checkerboard. <laughs> Got Matt all riled up, and he told the boy that he'd give the dog away unless he trained him. Oh, he was just talking. I don't know about that. Matt's got a stubborn streak. Parky and Pokey were just made for one another, like ham and eggs. I can't picture him with any other dog. Oh, you fixed it fine. Screw pulled loose, likely. Well, I'll fix it when I get the cow's milk. In the meantime, don't drag on it. Well, how'd it work? No good. I thought he liked corn syrup. Didn't he go after the stick? He went after it all right, but he didn't bring it back. He ate it. <laughs> it's not funny, Mom. Mr. Brockway said he'll give Pokey away if we don't train him. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't really mean to laugh. Maybe Gramps can help you. He's out in the barn. Why don't you go ask him? Okay. Come on, Porky. Give the stick to Jeff. You really think it'll work, Gramps? Well, it ought to. Just do like I told you and keep dragging him back. And each time we get him back, we give him a piece of biscuit. Yeah. Dip in corn syrup. <laughs> I'd fetch it back myself for that. <laughs> Come on, let's try it. Come on, Lassie. Come on, Paul. All right, boy. You better do this right or your goose is cooked. <clears throat> In time, just throw it. Okay. No, Lassie. No. Come on. Put it in his mouth. Pick it up, Pokey. Pick it up. Pick it up. Now hold it. Hold it. Okay, pull, Porky. Yeah. Help 
He's coming. Pull. What'd you say? We taught Pokey to do a trick, Mr. Brockway. He's real smart, and we can train him easy. It's too late. Too late for what? I was talking to Clay Horton. He says there's a family over in Capital City would like to have the dog. He ain't no farm dog, son. You know that. Pop, you promised. You said if I could train him. I'll get you another dog, son. I don't want another dog. I just want him. It only took us a little while to teach him this trick, Mr. Brockway. Wouldn't you like to see it? All right, but hurry it up. I got work to do. Thanks, Pop. Now, Pokey, you do just like you did before, remember? We'll throw the stick, then you go get it and fetch it back. Should I throw it to you, Jeff? You. Stay, Lassie. Get ready, Pokey. You ready? Fetch! Fetch it. Bring it back. Bring it back. Pookie! Where'd he go? Chasing a butterfly. I got work to do. I don't understand it. He did it so good before. It ain't his fault, son. He just ain't a smart dog, that's all. Are you really gonna give him away, Pop? It's the best thing, son. I'll get you another dog. An Irish setter or a good foxhound. Going to town this afternoon. Don't cry, Porky. We'll figure out something. How can we figure anything out? Pop's going to the town this afternoon. He's taking him with him. Well, maybe if Gramps talked to him. Porky, look! Now you bring it back, you little dope. <laughs> Did you tell him Pokey came back and fetched the stick? Yeah. Jeff, can I stay overnight? Sure, if it's okay with your mom. I don't care if I never go home. Oh, that's a dopey thing to say. Maybe it is dopey, but I mean it. Now look, Porky, you gotta admit, Pokey is a pretty dumb dog. I don't gotta admit it, and I'm not gonna admit it. Maybe he's not as smart as Lassie. And anyway, even if he is dumb, supposing I was dumb, would my pop give me away? That's different. I don't see why it's different. I love Pokey just as much as my pop loves me. Maybe more. <laughs> There's no use crying about it, Porky. Your dad's already on his way to town. Maybe he'll bring you back a swell Irish setter or something. I don't want an Irish setter. I don't want any kind of dog. I just want Pookie. <laughs> Top of not having a brain in your head, you're the homeliest looking mud I ever laid eyes on. That's right, go to sleep. Eating and sleeping are the two things you do best. Well, he's feeling pretty unhappy about Pokey, and, and Jeff thought it might cheer him up if he stayed over. Well, you can wear one of Dad's night shirts. <laughs> and I'm sure we have an extra toothbrush. Oh, fine. Fine, Bertie, thanks. Bye-bye. Okay? Okay. It's okay, Pork. You can stay overnight. Mom, is it okay if we have a pillow fight? Mm, if you promise not to get feathers all over the room. Promise. Word of honor. What would you like for supper, Porky? Well, I don't know. I'm not hungry. How about clam chowder and fried chicken, sweet corn, and lemon cream pie? How about that, Porky? 
Okay. Sounds like a wonderful menu. I suppose you go out and pick me a dozen nice ears of corn. Okay. Come on, Porky. Until you get a dog that you really like, Porky, you can play with Lassie as much as you want. Thanks, Jeff. Wake up. We're almost there. That's all I need, a flat. Stay there. Don't come out. Boy, if your pop brings you back an Irish setter, we can go hunting pheasants and quail and grouse. Irish setters are real good dogs. They got keen noses, too. Better than Lassie's, even. You're just saying that. Oh, no, I'm not, Porky. Honest, I'm not. Anybody will tell you Setter's got the keenest nose of any dog. He could smell a pheasant a mile away. Porky couldn't smell nothing but food, but he could smell it good. I'd still rather have Porky. Man, but why don't they make these things so a man can put them on without breaking his back? What are you looking at? Easy, boy. Easy. That's a good feller. Now, listen, Pokey. Listen to me carefully. I need help. I think I got a broken leg. Go to the Miller farm. Well, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Wait a minute. Let me think. Go. Go to the Miller farm and get Lassie. You know, Lassie. Good. Go on, Pokey. Get Lassie. Here. Wait a minute. Here, Pokey. Pokey. Take this to Lassie. Come here. Now take that to Lassie. Go on. Take it to Lassie. Pokey, go on. Take it to Lassie. We thank thee, O Lord, for this our daily bread. Amen. Sure. 
course I'm sure he was wearing it today. Matt must be in trouble. Call Clay Horton and tell him to start driving up from town. I'll take the pickup and drive down. We'll go with you, Graham. All right. Uh, Jenny, Ellen, get Clay Horton for me, would you please? It's an emergency. If you get that homely flop-eared mutt down on the ground where he belongs, you can figure out your move. I ain't putting him down, and that's final. And don't call him a mutt. <laughs> 